My uh, uh, so software pick is an app that I used a, a couple days ago called Find Any File. Uh, it's uh, on a temple.org, T-E-M-P-E-L dot O-R-G. Uh, and it's sort of like a, a, a standalone app, shareware, so you use it for free if you want to pay for it, six bucks. And it's sort of like, imagine what Spotlight would be if it were a standalone app and did not search within files. Uh, so it's for a very specific kind of purpose. When you really just want to let your, get your hands on a certain file, uh, it's a lot faster and a lot more direct, I think, than Spotlight because it's not going to uh, contaminate your search results with text files that happen to contain that certain word. Uh, and it, it's also it's also a little bit more direct and obvious to me. Uh, when it finds search results, there's never any uh, doubt as to where that file is. It will also search for hidden files. It will do, uh, it will it'll let you save searches. You don't have to remember what Spotlight search language is like because you can actually just, uh, just like you're doing a smart playlist on uh, on iTunes, say, please, I want the name to be this. I want it to start with this. I want it to be larger than this, but smaller than that. Uh, even after all these years, uh, I really have to go to a help page to remember what keywords to use uh, to just construct that phrase and spotlight to find a file that I want. Because oftentimes I'm just looking for what are the files that are clogging up my hard drive? Show me all video files that are greater than uh, greater than a gigabyte or greater than 512 uh, megabytes. And for some reason, it's a lot, I find it's a lot quicker to, uh, to get this done with this app. Uh, I actually wound up downloading and paying for it because there was a third-party app that I was that I had installed that for some reason was still throwing up dialogue. So there was some sort of a text or some sort of a, a system thing after I deleted the application that was still causing it to send me notifications. And the only way, it was one of those things where I needed to delete it with extreme prejudice, in anger, in fury. <laughs> and, and that involved basically, please show me every file of every kind, hidden or unhidden, that was created by this, that has the, the signature of this uh, of this publisher. And so it found me all of these files that had been left behind after I had deleted the, I thought I deleted the app. And then only after forced deleting all that stuff, uh, which was a snap inside the app, was able to get it done. If it were, if this were a $30 utility, I'd say, well, okay, just do Spotlight because there's just so much overlap. For uh, Again, it's shareware, so you can try it out for free pretty much forever. Uh, but for six bucks, it really fills in a gap that uh, I think has been, for me personally, has been existing with uh, Search on the Mac for a while. I just like to be able to tab over to a standalone app that does nothing but find files by file name for me, no matter where they are, and let me do things, do actions upon them in a way that to me is more natural than Spotlight. As good as Spotlight is. Nice.